Today, we're gonna do my face makeup. I'm gonna show you how I um, do my face makeup, basically. Anyways, we're gonna be starting with my makeup, okay? First things first, I always use a primer. And you guys see me use this primer a lot. It's the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer Base So Long. Anyways, this is like my fa my most favorite. I also use um, Benefit Poreless Primer. I just use the primer that is used for your pores because my face is very oily and I do a heavy skincare beforehand. And you know my uh, SPF is very moisturizing also. So I kind of stopped using uh, moisturizing primers. I have some, but I don't use them because I don't find I need them. So I just like to fill in my pores with this. It's very thick. It's like this thick, thick cream thing. And I press it in. This is where I have a huge pore. Be mindful to keep pressing. When you put the foundation on top of it, it just looks smoother. So I see a huge difference if I do my foundation without this. I don't know if I'm supposed to be speaking louder. This is the first try, so you guys are going to have to bear with me until I get things right and I buy a microphone. I don't know if you guys can see a difference. It makes a huge difference. I hope I did say that today I'm gonna to be showing you my foundation routine, right? This is what I do when, you know, I want my base to look real good. I don't put on a lot of foundation. I do like my skin to show through. But if I'm going to like a wedding and I wanna look extra, extra nice, this is the routine I'm showing you. I want to look extra snatched. I want my skin to look extra beat. And this is what I do. Do give it time, okay? Give your primer some time to do what it's supposed to do in your skin. Don't be in a rush. There's no rush. Take your time. Enjoy this process. Makeup is like therapy to me. I just ugh, love it. If you want your makeup to look to last long, use a spray. So this is. Uh, Huda Beauty Resting Boss Face waterproof, waterproof Setting Spray Extra hold Like for your hair Anyways People do use this like at the end of uh, your makeup But I think it works better If you use it Before your makeup And if you think about it What breaks down your makeup Oil Is the oil on top It's not It's from the bottom So if the oil comes through then it breaks down your makeup so when you're using stuff that is supposed to like help your makeup last long why not put it directly where the oil is going to come through so that it stops the oil from coming through or put it throughout in your routine not just at the end so you i want to make my makeup look makeup last so long i'm going to use this should i use it now even though i don't want my makeup to last long i'll just show you guys so uh, few sprays of this keep it far away like arm's length seriously I love Huda but <sighs> this smells so strong this orange shade that I love to use as corrector <sighs> am I gonna say it you know like I have these big marks here they get reduced so I'm gonna be using this corrector I just put it where I need it like right over here people use it under their eyes and I can but I don't think I have the darkest under eyes so I don't really need it but I do have this five o'clock shadow it's just any this corrector it's like a warm shade they make it warm and then when you put another your color on top of it it doesn't turn gray on the darker areas so like around my mouth where i have some darkness sometimes my foundation tends to look gray there 
and it doesn't look good so and it warms the place up so when you put your foundation on it doesn't look so gray i'm not gonna do this every day okay i don't have time for this every day this is just extreme extreme i want to look as good as i can look for that day taking photos and stuff but i'm not gonna do this every day nobody's got the time this is a full full coverage foundation <sighs> according to the reviews people like love it or people hate it there's no in between i love it now but if you're not used to wearing so much makeup then you might not like it so much because it's quite heavy I say if you're used to wearing makeup when I bend a local makeup when I bend a full coverage when I up with do me come as a money you know before I tried come uh, one of my first few foundations I bought um, Mac studio fix the thing is heavy people love it I put it on my face and I was like no 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 so I took it away I, I think I gave it to someone I really want to try that again and see you know what my thoughts are now that I'm using a lot of foundation and I'm used to it and I'm used to the feeling because I couldn't a feeling period that heavy feeling you get that I just didn't like because I wasn't used to wearing foundation and stuff go you just let me know because I really really want to try it and see anyhow what I think about it now after all these years anyways my hands are clean I'm just gonna pump it here just like one pump if you don't want to use so much foundation first of all especially if you're doing like a natural makeup thing and you don't want to use so much foundation always start your foundation in the center of your face and then blend it outwards this is where you need the most coverage i look like a complete mess let's just get a sponge shall we push out you want more coverage of course you can use a brush but this cover foundation is already such full coverage i really don't think i need to so i'm just gonna be using a sponge and then i'm just gonna start in the center of my face where i need the most coverage i'm just pressing that in this foundation heavy duty no no coverage mataka heavy duty dafteni huda so much coverage too much coverage but if you want this much coverage especially because on here i put that orange underneath want it to be covered try huda <laughs> but don't try it come on yeah that's why i make up don't try it if you're not used to foundations yani uh, this is not the i'm gonna buy one foundation and this is all i'm gonna use you're not gonna want to use this every day unless you're me i can use this every day <laughs> But it's, I know it's not good to use this every day. So some people are telling me that me mistake kupaka contour or I just don't want to use that much makeup because because I have cheekbones, seated the contour and stuff like that. My face is already so slim. Like any if you put foundation like this. Look at my face. It's so flat. There's no shadow, there's no anything going on. That's not natural. You go out like this, you don't look natural. So, you're going to have to put some color back on your face. If you don't want to go the cream and powder way, then you can just use powder after you've set your face. But today I'm going to be using some cream also because I'm showing you like a beat beat face, you know? So, we're going to use some cream and some powder. I'm going to be using this one from Huda Beauty. This is called the Tantour and I am using the shade light. It looks like this. I'm going to be using this brush from Sephora. It's called the Airbrush Concealer. So a concealer brush, but I use it for anything and everything I want. I'm just going to be picking some product up from the pan. and i'm going to be putting placing that on my cheekbones right under my cheekbone so 
depending on your face shape you put it where you see fit right under your cheekbones on my forehead I do because I have a huge forehead so but if you don't have a huge forehead you don't have to do it just put a little bit but this strong one I'm gonna be putting it coming coming to my mouth okay you know can you already see like this cheek just looks like it's up and this cheek looks like it's down y'all can see that just make your face the shape you want this is what I like for my face coming to my mouth okay make sure they're at the same place don't drag it downwards if you drag it downwards it drags your face down I think this side is a bit more down I'm going to cor correct that right over here I can see it dragging my face down so I want it right up here okay I will correct that with my sponge in a bit the thing about this Huda Beauty thing what I like about it is it's very forgiving like you can't make so many mistakes with it because it blends out very well so it won't like look like a complete mess after it if you make a mistake I'm gonna be putting some right here on my chin look at this double chin here my face is so chubby always most of will be putting it on my jaw and I'm gonna be putting it on my nose on my nose I'm gonna be using this smaller brush it's from Morphe E17 I do like to emphasize this my nostrils shade them make them a bit smaller and then I do like to make my the tip of my nose a bit smaller so I'm just gonna be placing it right here nowadays I don't pull it all the way up because my nose up here is quite thin okay so I don't need so much product up there so I just start here I do push it upwards but I get less product up if I do it this way and I like to cut this because when I smile this falls my nose falls down so if I cut it a bit here it doesn't look like it's going all the way down though it still is you know illusions makeup is just illusions I do like to contour my lip don't you really see that my upper lip looks like it's way bigger let's blend the nose and here I do bring it up but just I put I put it down here first the product that goes up is not as much as it used to be I used to like put the, the the dark shade all the way up here and then I just had too much product on my nose can you see how buttony my nose looks my nose is already small yes but I just I just like I just like uh, I just like to do this because I just, I just like it a little thinner down here thinner than it already is and then friend the lip contour and then I'm going to be blending the contour I'm bringing everything up I'm not bringing anything down if you see this stuff is not fully blended I am gonna blend it with a br with a sponge I'm just any help in the sponge out first and then I'm gonna take a sponge use the same side I use some foundation and because there is a little bit of foundation here it's really gonna help you blend this out quite well I'm 
Once you're in a rush, you want to do all the steps, don't be in a rush. You're in a rush, use some powder, do it quick, quick, and get on with life. But if you want to do a full face, make sure you take your time. You know how uh, Jackie Aina, if you guys watch Jackie Aina, she uses powder before her foundation. I tried that. Do you guys want to see me try it on camera? Because I tried it once and I did not like it. But maybe I did it wrong. You know everything, you gotta keep trying. Maybe I did it wrong, so I am gonna try that again. If you guys want to see it, then I will do it on camera. If you don't, don't want to see it, then I'm gonna do it by myself. I have been loving this. For so long, my favorite concealer was the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Love that. But saving? This is fighting. This is like fighting to take the number one spot. I just love it. It's so thin, so you don't feel like you're wearing something heavy. But it has so much coverage. Just put it underneath there, put it over here. Anywhere you wanna highlight your face. You have to remember, mkiwa mna highlight, mna taka kuleta forward. If you contour, you're bringing it back. Any shadow, you're bringing it back. So you, you have to look at where you want to bring your features forward. Go my under eye, I like that to be bright. Here, kiddo, go on my nose. Okay. My forehead, I just do a little bit because I already have a big forehead. It's already coming to light. I don't need to highlight it more. You know, go depending on your face. Don't just follow what everyone is doing. I use a lot of contour on my forehead. I didn't today because with my scarf on like this I just don't need it and I just like to do the things I really need you know? don't waste time but if you guys want to see how I contour my forehead do let me know it's quite huge I always use a sponge for concealer I never use a brush I'm gonna start with my mouth area bring this forward this concealer sets huh it's supposed to be let me let me it's supposed to be self-setting cakeless concealer i have to read the details for you but it's supposed to be self-setting so so it sets quickly sometimes you normally have time but up if i play too much I won't be able to move it so I gotta work fast blend the forehead here I just like to make like a I like it to come to like a circle yeah. big forehead but you know I still like it and then I'm gonna blend my under eyes yeah I'm so sorry you guys I have to make that face I really am trying to look all good and but no when you're doing concealer and stuff there's no looking good <laughs> okay let's do this so I want to, when I do there I'm really trying to when all these lines under your eyes I'm trying to like stretch them so that the concealer goes in the lines and covers them oh how perfect is that look at that coverage i look like i've been sleeping for a week i'm well rested i'm happy life is good my marriage is popping everything just looks Amazing of the concealer. <laughs> this one thing I love to do, if I even if I'm not putting so much makeup on, is concealer. Guys, we're going to do baking nowadays. I've been trying not to do so much baking because I don't know. 
I always try a different different technique. You gotta keep experimenting. And before you put powder, you have to make sure you have no creases. Okay? So you can either go with your finger or with a sponge. Make sure everything is still not creasing. You don't wanna set the creases. And then we started a cocoa on your osako, but I can set na powder. Because a book she said, don't make set up on a set, right? With powder. So you get rid of all the creases before you put powder on. It's best to put your face like this, okay? And then I'm gonna just be putting powder on with the with the brush first. I'm using Huda Beauty uh, Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder in the shade Banana Bread. I'm just gonna be adding now a thicker layer to to bake. I'm not using too much powder. Baking around my nose. Whatever is left, not so much is left. I just pass it along my face. You do want to set your whole face, especially if your face is oily. If your face is dry, you don't need it. But if your face is oily, try to get enough powder. I'm going to be adding more powder and baking my other eye. I'm not baking my forehead, I'm just passing powder through and my nose. And now everywhere else. Start with some contour. Here I'm going to be using Blame It On Nars. This eyeshadow palette, this uh, face palette, I'm just going to be grabbing some of this dark contour color. I'm going to be like putting it right where I put the cream contour but a bit more blended out you know I like to blend it towards my mouth bring shape to my face blend it underneath this to make this jawline snatch and blend it on my forehead My nose is quite small, so I really don't like a sharp, sharp contour. So I'm gonna be using this big brush to just blend it out. You want things to look seamless? We're gonna put put a, a highlight. I'm using a fan brush. This is a brush from Morphe M310. This just looks like. This is what it looks like. And this Nars Jubilation intensity blush but these are just both highlights one's one's a little pinky another one is a little golden I don't know if you guys can see the light yeah over there. so I'm gonna be grabbing the golden shade today and then I'm gonna be applying right on top of my cheekbones I like to bring it forward so that even when I'm looking straight, you can still see the highlight. Using a brush like this, what I see with a fan brush is a, is I get a more blended out highlight. I'm gonna put some on the tip of my, no my nose, anywhere you want to bring forward. I'm also going to be highlighting this part of my eye. I don't know. I just like the way it looks when the sun um, catches my face. Oh, yes. A little bit of my cupid's bow over here. A little bit of my chin. A little bit over here. I put highlight everywhere. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm highlighted to... I love highlights so much. Using this Morphe 
E3 brush. I'm gonna be using this MAC blush. It's called Ginger Lee Sheer Tone Blush. It's like this taupey, taupey color. I like this for my face, especially because it's kind of taupe, so I can kind of use it as like very light uh, bronzer or something. I don't know, it just looks really good on my skin tone, so. I'm placing the blush up here and all the way down here this depends on what you like some people just place the blush right over here do not do the, the the smiling trick and then do it here because you're not walking around smiling all day are you walking around like this no so if you're not walking around sm smiling when you smile and you put it right here on the apples of your cheeks and then you go down your face drops so your blush comes down here and this overall makes your face come down we want to bring everything up bring youth so don't smile just place the blush right over here because this is where we walk around this is how we walk around we don't walk around smiling so just place the brush right here this is the thing is why i did this in these three steps is because i put the contour i put the I put the um, highlighter then I'm putting the blush underneath it kind of because it's in the middle it can I'm kind of like blending the three together I'm blending the contour I'm also blending the highlight so everything just looks seamless if you're new you should try and do this new to a makeup it will just make your life easier you know eliminates mistakes make sure you're not smiling and putting it here doesn't work because I'm blending it upwards some people put blush on their nose also it's nice to look blushed and flushed once that's done my baking is done I'm just going to be whisking it away I look smooth well, you can use a powder foundation like this if you use this on top of your makeup here finishing it does add uh, coverage because this is a powder foundation but even this from uh, Huda Beauty does add some coverage so you don't need to start your foundation with the fullest coverage you want because everything you put on it does it does add here and there coverage so you don't need to just start off very strong okay let's do my lips and some uh, mascara and we're done we're done i really hope you guys have enjoyed this my first time doing a video talking feels strange to talk to yourself but i talk to myself all the time so nothing new and um, please do subscribe i'm going to try and make more videos on this channel on my youtube channel uh instagram channels are going to be a bit shorter and uh, we will still do exclusive instagram videos so that you don't come here but here we're going to be trying you know i'm going to be trying to teach more so that people understand what i'm doing and just not watch yeah I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, my face is looking really smooth. I'm sad that I have to take up this makeup because I probably will just take it all right off right now. I hope this video wasn't boring. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy it. It's gonna be a very long video. But I'm liking how my face looks. The foundation as i said is excellent people love it or people hate it but i love it and if you guys do want to see me uh, review the studio fix foundation do let me know because i'm really excited to see what i think of it this many years later i really hated it the first time 
so I'm, I am gonna be trying that out you guys want to see me try it you let me know I'll make a video trying it like first impressions let's see how it looks and uh, the Huda Beauty contour is amazing it's really easy to blend I'm using the shade light so she does go very deep because I think she has like three or four shades I have to check that out and let you guys know so if I'm using the shade light that means the other ones are very dark and the shade light is just good enough for me and uh, setting your foundation you can set your foundation now again I don't want to because I'm not going anywhere and I want to remove my makeup and I don't want to waste it because I can't even buy it in Tanzania so you can set your face now I love this I love this so much it's just so good thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoy this video I'm looking forward to do more videos like this I really enjoyed talking I thought I wouldn't but I did and you know what I'm looking so cute I feel like going out I'm so cute if I do so say if I do so say myself that's wrong if I do if I do so if I if I how do they say it if I if I say so myself if I do say so myself if I do say so myself yes yes I'm looking quite cute if I do say so myself so I do feel like going out but I have nowhere to go so it's a Tuesday anyways bye guys